Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will talk about using strings in Python. But before that, I want to show you something. And that is how to comment your code in Python or how to write a comment in Python. So for example, I have this line of code which is used to print hello world on terminal. Now for some reason, I don't want to execute this line of code then I can convert this statement into a comment. And how do I do this? You can just add an asterisk in front of your code and this makes your statement a comment. A comment means that now this line of code will not be executed by Python. So let's run our code and let's see what happens. So you can see now it doesn't print hello world because now this is a comment. Now generally we use comments in order to provide some information about some functionality or what we'd want to do with our code. So let me remove this line and because it's a Python strings video, we can just write after this hash symbol Python strings, right? And this means that this is a comment and this line will not be executed by the Python interpreter. Now there is one more way of giving a comment in Python, which is by writing the double quotes three times. And this is also a comment. So when you write, for example, Python strings, this is also a comment. So this will also not be executed by Python interpreter. So what is the difference between uh, this hash comment and the comment with these three double quotes. So it turns out that using these double quotes, you can write multiple line comments. So for example, I want to write a multiple line comment. Let's say I want to write Python string tutorial. I can write this multiple line comment using these triple double quotes. So let's get started and let's see how we can use strings in Python. So I'm going to declare a variable and in this variable, I'm going to assign hello world here, right? And to print this hello world, we can just write print and inside the parentheses, we can use this X variable. And when we run the code, it runs. So we already know how to use this kind of string in Python. The second way of uh, creating a string is you can use the single quotes instead of double quotes and this is also a valid string. So this will also work. So let me just uh, print this also, which is hello world using single quotes. And when I am going to run this, it's going to give me the result. Let me remove the spaces between the print and these parentheses. So let's say you want to add a single quote into this hello world string. So let's say I want to just write hello, single quote, s, hello's world. So this is totally possible in Python. So whenever you surround your string using double quotes, you can just add this single quote without any problem. But when you do the same with this string, this will give you a problem because now Python thinks that your string starts from here and ends at this place just after hello and this will be seen as some kind of garbage by Python. So in order to use the single quotes inside the string which uses single quote, you use a escape character. And the escape character in Python is backslash, okay? So when you add a backslash in front of a character, Python interpreter knows that it's a escape character. So this will be treated as a valid string. So let me just print the result and you can see it prints the same result now. Now let's say I want to use a double quote in this string which uses double quote already. So I'm going to just give a double quote here and the same problem arises which we have seen in the string with single quote. So to escape this, you can also use backslash and the problem will be gone. And let's run the program and it gives us this hello world with double quote. So you can print this double quote using this 
escape character which is backslash now let's say you want to print a string with a backslash itself so i can add a backslash here and i want to add a backslash here and let's save the code and let's run it and let's see if it runs or not so it turns out that you can use this kind of notation in python also when you use double backslashes here and here let's see what happens so when we run the code it will give us the same result because one backslash is a escape character and other backslash is the part of the string so it will print the same result so you can use this for escaping this character or you can remove this the result will be same so now let me edit these two strings and i'm going to use hello here with the capital h and i'm also going to assign hello to the y variable with a small h here now python provides us some inbuilt functions which you can use with strings so this is a string right so you can use some methods related to strings on the x and y variable so let's see what are these methods so after the x i can just press dot and you can see so many suggestions is given to us by pycharm and this is called intellisense which is provided by pycharm to us and intellisense means that whenever you type something pycharm will try to suggest you some supporting code for whatever you are typing so let's use some method which are suggested to us so i'm going to use this capitalize method so let's use this capitalize method with the x and y variable and let's see what happens so i'm going to run the code and you can see now the upper string is printed same but the lower string is printed with a capital h in front of it so this capitalize method capitalizes the first letter of the string now let's see what are some of the other method which we can use so there is a method called upper and also there is a method called dot lower so let me just uh, rewrite this hello in all capitals and let's run the code now and you can see in the result the upper method has converted our string into all upper letters and the lower method has converted our string into all lower letters now in python everything is an object so using these square bracket you can extract each and every letter based upon their index so for example i write index 0 here and in the y i'm going to use the same square bracket and i'm going to write 1 here which is the index 1 and let me run the code and it prints the first character of the string because it's at index 0 and here you can see the second character of the string which is at index 1 so always remember indexes starts from 0 not from 1 now in python you can also get the substring out of a string so here inside these square brackets i can uh, just write that i want a substring out of this complete string first three letters of this string so i can uh, just start from 0 and i can just say i just want to stop at 3 that means we will get i think the first three character of the string also let me add some spaces into the second string here and in python there is a method called uh, strip so i'm going to just use uh, this strip method and let's run the code first of all and let's see what happens so you can see first of all this print has printed first three letter of this string so you can see this notation means that we are telling python to give a substring starting from 0 until 2 until the index 2 okay and we are saying that we want to stop at index 2 that's why we write 3 here now if you want to just print h e l l we can write here 0 to 4 and then we can run the code and then we get h e l l if you want to get only e l l you can write 1 to 4 here and then it will give you e l l out of this string and this is how you can strip your string so strip means the spaces 
from the start and end will be stripped of this string. Now let me show some other method related to the strings. So first method I want to show here is there is a method called is lower and then there is a method called is upper and then there is a method called dot replace which is used to replace some character inside the string. So let's say I want to replace capital H by let's say J. And the last method I want to show is how to split the string but that we will see in a moment. So let's run this code and the first result says false because this string is not lower. When we write all letters in lowercase then only it will give us true otherwise this method is lower will give us false. Now let's rerun the code and now it gives us true because now every letter in this string is lower. Second method gave us true because we were checking whether every letter in this string is capital or not. The next method replace is used to replace the character if it's there in your string and replace it with this character if this character is found in your string. So this capital H is not present in our string, right? So let's just add this capital H into our string and let's see what's the result. So now the capital H is replaced by capital J here in the result. The next method which you can use with the string is a split method. So you can write y dot uh, split and this is used to split your string using any character. So I'm going to once again write hello comma world here and I want to split this string using this character which is comma. So I can uh, just write using single quote this comma and once I run the code you can see it gives us an array of two members. One is hello and other is world with a space right because we have splitted our string using this character that's why the space is here right. So that's why you can see this space here also in the second element of this array. So there are number of methods which are associated with string which you can use and for knowing all these methods you just need to write your variable which contains a string and then just write dot and you will be able to see the suggestions which you can use with the string. So you can use the title method for example or you can use the translate method or you can use all these method which are available here. Okay, so just see all these suggestions and see what you can use from these method. Also, if you don't have any variable in which you have assigned your string, you can directly take your string, for example, hello, and then you can just write dot after this hello. And once again, you will see all these suggestions because this hello is also a string. Let me show you one last thing which you can use with string very quickly. So you can write print here and then if you want to print this hello for example 10 times, how will you do this? So you can uh, just write for example x comma x comma x. This is how you can do this. Let's say you want to print this hello 100 times, how you can do this? So there is a trick in Python which you can use and this is using these asterisks, you can print the string multiple times. So for example, I want to print this hello 10 times, I can just write my string variable name, asterisk, the number of time I want to iterate this string. So let me run the code and you can see now this hello is printed 10 times. Let me provide the space here. So there will be a space between the two hellos, right? Let's say I want to print hello 100 times, then I can just write 100 here and then run the code and it will print this hello 100 times on the terminal. So this is how you can use strings in Python. I hope you have learned something new this time. I will see you in the next video.